Hello friends, welcome to MND Education. Today I will discuss NCRT based class 8th science workbook, chapter number 6 Combustion and Flame. First of all, I am thankful to you all that you assist me to grow my channel. So friends, stay at this channel and watch this video till the end for better understand. So let's start. Now friends before starting this session first of all the first part if you haven't seen so you can get the link in the description or on on the i button so now the question number seven answer the following questions in short okay now the first question is uh, state the conditions under which uh, combustion can take place so now the first condition is a presence of a combustion substance now the second condition is a proper supply of air to provide oxygen now the third condition is attainment of ignition temperature okay now the second question explain how the use of cng in automobiles has reduced pollution cities so now the first uh, is the first use is a cng burns completely now the second one it does not produce any harmful gases and the third one is it does not leave any uh, residue after burning okay and uh, then the fourth one is cng is a clean gaseous fuel now the third question draw a label diagram of a candle flame so you can see here here is a diagram okay and uh, the diagram is also given in the uh, textbook so you can draw it by yourself now the fourth question is which john of a flame does a goldsmith use for melting gold and silver and why so for melting gold and silver the goldsmith uses the middle burn uh, middle part of flame okay actually this part is very large in this part the particles of wax got uh, uh, partial combustion and uh, gave higher uh, temperature goldsmith blow the middle zone of a uh, flame with a metallic blow pipe for melting gold and uh, silver very large amount of heat available in this part so which melts gold and silver now the fifth one is why are there holes in the lower part of a lantern for a gas stove so in a lantern or gas stove fuel or gas uh, fluid or gas so fuel is used to pro produce a fire so to to, pre, to provide the fire with a adequate amount of air holes are kept in their lower parts so due to the continuous supply of air the fire burns continuously without producing smoke therefore now the sixth question is uh, explain about uh, safety matches in briefs so the first point is a mixer of uh, antimony triphosphate uh, sulfide and uh, potassium chlorate with uh, some glue and a starch is applied on the heat of a matchstick made of suitable wood when the match is stuck against the uh, rubbing surface some red phosphorus give spark due to friction ignition antimony trisulfide and start burning while potassium chlorate supplies oxygen okay now the seventh question is uh, what should be done to control fire so for controlling on fire so first of all cut off supply of air now second one is the temperature of fuel should be brought down than its ignition temperature and the third one is avoid fuel but in all case we cannot avoid fuel also clear now the eighth equation state the function of a carbon dioxide as a fire uh, extinguisher so co2 can be stored at a high pressure as a liquid in a cylinder when released from the cylinder co2 expands uh, numerous sorry enormous uh, in volume and uh, cools down so it is not only for only form a blanket around the fire it also brings down the temperature of the fuel and that is why that's why actually co2 is an excellent fire uh, extinguisher okay now the ninth question is state the types of combustion so there are three types of combustion the first one is a rapid combustion now the 
the rapid combustion that means a producing heat and light now the second one is a spontaneous combustion that means a material suddenly burst and the third one is explosion that means producing heat light and sound now the tenth question is what is global warming and state its effect so the rise in the temperature of the atmosphere of the earth is called a global warming co2 is produced by combustion of fuel and increased um concentration of uh, carbon dioxide in air is believed to came global warming because uh, because of it the melting of a polar glacier this leads to arise in this uh, in the sea level and causing floods in the uh, coasting areas now the 11th is uh, state the uh, calorie uh, calorific values of different fuels so dunk you can see here actually the table is given here so you can write by yourself it's very simple now the eighth question is explained giving scientific reasons now the first reason is what is so water is not uh, used to control fires involving uh, electric ele electrical equipment so the first point is water is good conductor of electricity now the second one is uh, it conducts electricity and uh, many cause uh, uh, electric uh, shocks to the uh, person who extinguish uh, fire so water is not used okay now now second one is uh, lpg is a better domestic uh, fuel than uh, wood so the first thing is its calorific value is higher than wood now the second one is it uh, neither produce smoke nor does leave any uh, residue after burning while wood produces a lot of smoke on burning and uh, behind ashes on burning okay now the third point is actually there is no control on the combustion of wood but we can control combustion of lpg so that okay now the third scientific reason is when a paper cup filled with water is heated over a candle flame the paper cup does not catch a fire why so when a paper cup is uh, kept above the flame of a candle so it gets heated the heat absorbed by the uh, cup and uh, it uh, cup is uh, from uh, spurred to the water in the cup due to which the water filled in the cup gets heated hence the paper cup does not uh, uh, reach its ignition point which is very essential for it uh, to burn therefore the paper cup does not burn now the fourth one is a uh, water should not be used uh, to uh, extinguish a uh, fire caused by petrol also actually petrol is lighter than water and hence it uh, floats on water now when water is uh, used to extinguish a fire due to petrol actually the petrol starts floating on water hence the fire does not extinguish but the fire spreads immediately hence water is not used to extinguish fire caused due to petrol now the ninth question is uh, actually different points lpg and wood so it is gaseous fuel now the first point of lpg is uh, actually is a gaseous fuel it does not produce a smoke if we are talking about the wood actually it is solid fuel and uh, it produce smoke also now the classification now the classification of solid fuel liquid fuel and gaseous fuel so coil wood dung cake are the solid fuels now the liquid fuels it's kerosene diesel and petrol and gaseous fuels natural gas and biogas now the second classification is a combustible uh, substances and non combustible substances so wood paper kerosene coal coal and matches are uh, combustible substances and uh, iron nail a uh, piece of stone glass are non combustible substances now the table you can see here actually wood wood is a solid fuel iron nail is a uh, non combustible then lpg is a gaseous fuel and petrol is a liquid fuel now the second table is a diesel okay calorific values we can see here actually diesel is 55000 kg per joule uh, sorry kg uh, kilojoule per kg hydrogen is uh, 1 lakh 50000 lpg is um uh, 55000 okay and uh, cng is uh, 50000 so guys uh, i i have done 
uh, this uh, I have completed this video okay so if you have any query or question so you can comment me also and if you like my channel and uh, if you feel that actually this channel is very useful for uh, uh, understanding the education so you can like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to push my actually push bell icon by which you can get this kind of latest videos so thank you so much